Brady Brothers is rolling and Diablo's hitting the hard rock. The street is my work spot. I'm looking for females and cops. You things can pass me. I'm rolling up a 5.0s like pimps on Hoji. And I'm sitting in third. I'm never on swerve. To the right, I'm merged. Now I'm patrolling. You ask for either him or me. Now if you want to roll with me. Yo, what's up? Welcome to another edition of the Peep Show. Yo, check it out. We here where all the stars, pimp players, hustlers, ballers, rollers, all that kind of shit. Say hi to the Peep Show. Say hi, Peep Show. Oh, niggas just gonna roll like that there. You know, y'all, I'm used to doing all the shit shows with all the girls and all the fine girls. But we gonna do this motherfucker a different kind of way for a minute, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do this shit gangster style. I'm gonna take y'all, let y'all meet my man, Suge Knight, Death Row Records. I'm gonna take y'all, check my man, uh, Tupac out. All kind of niggas like that, yeah, you know, hey, whatever, we just gonna get into all kind of wild shit here tonight on the Peep Show. Y'all check it out. I got my man Tupac in the right. motherfucker house. Yo, it's me, Luke, and it's Hennessy and Coke. In, 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 uh, in the Moet. It's in four the, niggas up in here. In the fucking Moet. Yo, this is the raw show. You know, I can't even put my man. I got to put my man in there like that there, you know, because we do that shit wild. Oh, you be beeping everything. Hell yeah. I be like, beep, 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 beep. So a nigga can talk his mind, say what he want to say. Oh, On this motherfucker here, yeah, you can just do what you want to do. Up in this bitch with Lou. Look out for the album. Johnny the album, Jake. Tupac. One of my producers. I got this album. Right here, baby. Like, it's called You Just Hello. Double Hello. album, Christmas. I'm going to tell him right now. If you let a nigga talk, I'm going to tell him right now. I'm going to tell him right now. Can I tell him right now? Can I tell him right now? Oh, all right. Tell him the X-rated version. Tell him my Can I tell him? I got some fat shit. A nigga was in jail for 11 and a half months. I came out with a lot of shit to talk about. I went to the studio straight from jail, 20 songs, double album, euthanasia. I got a song with Nate Dogg, I got a song with Roger, I got a song with George Clinton, I got a song with Dre, I got a song with Snoop, I got a song with Corrupt, Dad, Rage, Faith from Bad Boy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There I got a song with that with Faith from Bad Boy. We did this track together. Bro, so wonder why they call you bitch. <laughs> hey, nigga, glad to see you up out of that I'm shit. Glad yeah. to be out that bitch. You got some freaky stories on there and shit. Well, you know, I really got some shit called All About You and talk about seeing the same hoes in the same videos and going to the same place and seeing the same bitches. I did that song with Big Nate. Hey, Nate, nigga, I'm hey, telling you apart right Nate, now, man. Talk about this video. Hey. Oh, I know you, yo. I'm, I'm finna do the part for Nate. All about you. Nate be singing. Nate be clowning hoes. It's all Nate fault if the song, if bitches take the song wrong, it's all Nate fault. Tupac most definitely had a hoes all around him and shit. Hey, a nigga hey, got no. fully prepared though. No. No. Hey, hey, no. hey, hey, but the funny shit, I got shot five times. Ain't there a bullet go on my chest. These shits ain't no good. I'm just wearing it because it's like it's warm. It's like a vest, you know. So you had a bulletproof when you when you got shot. You had a bulletproof. Hell no, nah, but ain't never bullet go through my chest. Hey, so you don't need that shit. I'm saying, but I don't want niggas to switch up on me and I ain't right, with right, it. Right, right, if they right. decide to shoot me in my chest this time. <laughs> got another Hell, oh yeah, to you motherfucking niggas. He goes the Lex that hey, he go another one. Come get this. One. Yeah. 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 Come get these, yeah. and when you come get these, we can talk about the last one, and we can all get better acquainted, because I don't got nothing but love for y'all. I just want to tell you, <laughs> you miss, motherfucker. Can we talk? Can we talk? I hate when them New York niggas be throwing up gang signs. I seen, I seen Biggie throwing up this. Biggie don't know nothing about no gang signs. Why that nigga keep throwing up gang signs? Why do these East Coast time. niggas be... If they come to California, some of these true to life game bangers gonna pull your motherfucking card. Cause these niggas out here dying for that shit, and you wanna make a video and play with that shit. Be careful, homie. All you fake friend ass niggas, you got to be careful cause it's very dangerous out here. You could do that little set me up in the studio shit in New York. But a California nigga, that's where the G's ride. Okay, that's what I told y'all, people show, represent the gang shit. 
simple as that. That's the whole shit. So what? I mean, you know, you back in the studio and shit? Uh, yeah, we working on a new album, Life After Death. Supposed to be dropping on Halloween. Little C's album be dropping around Christmas, Puppy Love. And we just trying to make it happen, man. Halloween? Halloween, man. Boy, I heard about Halloween in New York. Now, you going to put a motherfucking album out. Yeah. Halloween in New York, yeah. and, and, and motherfuckers really going to go crazy. Hell yeah, man. We trying to sell a million first week. Oh, yeah, shit. Ain't no doubt. You going to do it. Yo, this beef show shit is all good. Hey, let me tell you. I, we was talking with uh, Lil' Kim today, right? Uh -huh. Lil' Kim, you know, I asked her about her record and all that. She talking about everybody. Look, I say, I call names. I say, Lil' Kim, what you say about Biggie? She said, I love that motherfucker there. That's my dog there. He put me on. I respect him. That's my man there and all that shit there. Yeah. So, I, you know, I just let you know what she say about that there. Yeah. That's my bitch right there, man. That's yeah. my partner. She gonna represent for me always. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's gonna be. Hey man, I ain't never gonna tell you, but thanks for doing that record with me and uh, shit. Yeah, busting nuts. <laughs> busting. <laughs> we do that all night. All day. All day. Yo, yo. This is how we do this shit, I told y'all. It's all good. Champagne, caviar, you know what I'm mean? Chilling at my man, Sugar Nights Club and shit here in Las Vegas. So when y'all come to Vegas, make sure y'all come here. The 6 6 2 Club. It's all in the fence. Pretty girl, fine girl, you know what I'm saying? Yo, welcome to the show, money. Hey, what up, man? All right. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, man, we, hey, we've been in the club and shit. The club is all that, you know, hanging out. You got, you got all the women in Vegas in here. I mean, you need to brought half of them down from L.A. They call that, uh, that death row thing. Right, right. So you know women gonna be there, they know who else gonna be there. I'm saying. I think we the most wanted, most wanted by the police, <laughs> most wanted by the women, most wanted by everything, I guess. As long as the sales keep coming straight. That's what it's all about. You know, hey, look, I mean, ain't too many people, you know, get to interview you. I don't, I don't ever see you on camera you know, as much. Of Hollywood shit. You know, I already yeah. know that. I already know that. You straight, so we, we do what we're going to do because, you know, my stars on the label is the stars, which is right. true. I have Tupac, Dog Pound, and the one who everybody gonna be waiting for. Well, I feel is our biggest moment because it's R and B, which is Danny Boy. You know, it's my oh, okay. dog, so he he just gonna come up handling his shit. Danny Boy gonna be the first uh, R and B act on your label? Yeah, I mean, you know, he, I will say he was, he's 16, but he had a birthday a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. 17. So you know, he gonna be the one that put it out there on the R and B team. Danny Boy gonna be singing some of that G funk. Yeah, he gonna be. How you just gonna be sexing the women? Uh, how you gonna be free? How you gonna be? How you, you know how you come, Danny? I mean, you know, ain't no studio shit. You do shit live. <laughs> hit, hit it one time for the ball, Danny boy. I can't deny I might decide to lick between your thighs. Whoa, girl, you good like the chronic. I swear you give me so high. Daddy boy in the motherfucker. Hey, now y'all know where he coming from. How you looking at 1996? We got five albums coming. All right. It's like, we got the dog pound out my mouth. Came out on the 31st. Right. Like Halloween, which was good, because everybody scared of our shit. So I felt that was the right time to put it out. Scared the motherfucker some more. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we keep that shit real on that level. Right. And then um, right before Christmas, like a week before Christmas, Tupac should be out. Oh, okay, Tupac new album. Yes, and Tupac new album is gonna be a double album. No rapper, damn near, but really no R&B, really just put it off. Oh, okay. but you know, he got a lot of talent, he got a lot of, it's his moment, anything he do is good. You know, you talk to him, you see him, yeah. he got the shit right. So we're gonna do his uh, double album, which is coming out right a week before Christmas. He got a song with Snoop, he got a song with Dre, he got a, um, song with Nate, and but most of all, he got all the shit that he been waiting, right. the same way to talk about them in two years, so of his own shit. Right. So that'll be our like, right before Christmas. And after that, we got Danny Boy coming. We got um, everybody up under the sun trying to be involved in this project. And Devante did two songs, and, you know, Quick did like four or five songs. We just got a lot of shit to mix. 
And we got Rage coming, we got Nate Dog coming. And uh, in the spring, Snoop will be coming. So oh, we got, you know, so you got all you got the shit loaded up. You got the, like you got the pistol loaded up. Ninety six is like if ain't nobody got no bomb shit out there, they got to you know get out the business. Plus, we got a, I'm letting a lot of other artists on my label have labels. So like Snoop got a label, this is Doggy Style Records that we'll be distributing. Right. Dog Pound got something we'll be distributing. Tupac got something we'll be distributing. Cause you know my main goal is not to hold nobody back. Is to let them grow. We need more brothers in the business to be more entrepreneurs. And exactly. Make it happen. Exactly. I ain't with playing golf. I want to sit down and have a real meeting with people from the ghetto. From ghetto. On the road, and a lot of people get a lot of misconception about the touring. You know, and they think you know we supposed to go to the to the concert and act crazy and all that shit. There, you know, I know that you guys, you know, just like us. We go out there, we want to do the tours and go out there, do the show, boom, get up out in town, we want no problems and shit like that there. You know, if you could tell some of the jits out there, you know, like, hey, and how how you perceive it and how your groups perceive it, you know, when y'all go out and do the tours and shit, and how y'all want the town to be, you know, how, how y'all want to lead and shit, you know what I'm saying? We go up to, we go up to for the fans. Right. You know, for the fans, Enjoy our fans in this community. See, Dapo is a community that we about our people. So we, we decided to go do a show. We don't be like, well, we expect to get X amount of dollars or we go out there and make more violence. We go out there to get something back. Because, you know, if, if somebody buying your record, they support your shit. Right. They want to, you know, they want to be able to come to a show and enjoy themselves without no violence and people looking for a chair. And, you know, they want to have a nice time. So that's what we're about. We're about making it happen. Cause we're out the ghetto, we won't be no death row, we won't be no loot. Simple ghetto, as that. You know, that's where we come from, and that's why we gotta keep that shit on that level. Exactly. So it ain't, it ain't no thing, you know. People y'all here, like you know, y'all here first. It ain't no thing where you, when you come to the party and shit, when you come to the concert or whatever it be, it's like you know, yo, you going it, It's all about that wild shit, cause it ain't all about that wild shit. You know, we going up in there. I mean, my man just told y'all go up in the in the shows and you just do the shows and you go home and you chill. Simple as that. You know, hang your business on your own. Simple as that. That's the big question. Try to rig it. I'm about to be the honey, pull out all my money, get back and say something funny like, don't act shy, don't act slick. But that's the big question. Mr. Big Dick.